Hi investors, seeing as how it's almost Halloween, I want to show you how to make an S&P 500 ghost line behind your charts on StockCharts.com. And even if you don't have StockCharts.com, stick around for the first part of the video so I explain why it would be nice to have this line on your charts and you might want to consider figuring out a way to put it onto whatever software platform you are using, not investment advice. Of course, this is just my opinion. Now, um, one of the key things we want to monitor with our stocks and potential stocks is relative strength. How um, a stock is holding up versus the um, entire market. <clears throat> and one way to do that is to gauge it against the S&P 500, which is the 500 largest companies by market cap that are publicly traded. So it's a pretty good um, comparison. Now, um, if you are holding for more than a few days, undoubtedly, you're going to have to um, with undergo some sort of pullback. And then the question becomes, is this stock pulling back abnormally or is it just pulling back with the greater market? And if so, is it pulling back less than the stock market? Is it pulling back more than the stock market, etc.? So let me show you. And so then obviously, if the, if the S&P 500 is strong and um, your individual stock is breaking down, that's a big concern, right? But you will find that with these really strong stocks like FTAI here, which makes um, engines, it's in the aerospace industry, um, that most of these little pullbacks, if not all, are just because of pullbacks in the greater um, stock market and therefore you should probably keep holding it so let me show you how to put this line let me show you how to put this line on here and then another thing to another strategy is um, when the when the S&P 500 is going down and your stock is just going sideways or maybe even up a little bit then that is a sign of serious strength and you should be thinking about buying more Okay, so that is the rationale. Let me show you. It's really quite easy once you know how to do it on StockCharts.com. You go down here. Um, this is how you add your simple moving averages. I'll show you that some other time. Different things you can do up here. But right here, indicators. So under indicators, you pick price. And then it, the default, for whatever reason, it automatically already puts in the S&P 500 and on stockcharts.com the symbol is dollar sign spx and then we want to put it at least i want to put it behind the price and i'm going to leave it as a line so i'll just do auto and that'll be a line and color i think i'm just going to go black here and um height honestly i'm not sure what that does i just leave it on auto now if you put it, let me show you. Oh, okay, there it is. So here you see the S&P 500 line behind um, your stock, but it's almost overpowering my candlesticks here. So what I want to do is change the opacity, the amount of transparency, in other words, and I like to do 0.3. So it is quite transparent. And then there you have a ghost line. In fact, I think I've been experimenting on 0.2. I can still see that pretty well, but maybe you guys can't. So let me put it back to 0.3. Okay, so now we have this um, <clears throat> price chart and we have the S&P 500 behind it. So let's say you owned this and it was in this nice trend and the stock market started coming crashing. This was that 20%. No, this was the 20% pullback. This was 10 or 15. Well. Let's just look. Why, why are we guessing here? Yeah, 20% pullback. So the S&P 500 made a 20% pullback, and yet FTAI moved sideways with just a little shakeout and didn't even touch the 50-day simple moving average. That is um, strong evidence that we should be adding to this. Sure enough, as soon as the market began to improve, this thing bounced like a beach ball. So we would put on a half position there, add to the position there. 
And let's say we own this stock and we see it starting to come in. It tags the 50 day. You know, we've all read O'Neill's book about uh, talking about selling when it breaks the 50 day. Well, if we look at it within context, when it broke this 50 day and it only did it um, intraday, it closed above the 50 day. This was um, at the bottom of a bottom of a big pullback in the S&P 500. So looking at it in that context, it's just behaving um, with the market and assuming none of the fundamentals um, and so forth have changed in the company and assuming you have a nice price cushion because you bought it down here in the base, then it really makes sense to hold this and see if it can um, drift back up above the 50 day, which it absolutely did. And now um, the market is running again and we add to it right there. Again, it pulls back, but it's just pulling back with the S&P 500. So let me show you a contrasting example. This is STX. So as you can see, um, the market is moving sideways here and this is breaking down hard. That is an indication without doing any fundamental analysis that there is something wrong with this specific stock and it's not just coming down with the general market. In this case, I think it was um, a poor earnings release. Okay, so uh, <laughs> to review, you go into indicators, you pick price, um, you put dollar sign SPX if it's not already in there, and you could compare it to the NASDAQ or whatever industry it's in, but I like to just use the S&P 500 behind price, auto, whatever color, and whatever opacity. That's it. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I encourage you to um, put this ghost line on your charts. I've put it on mine, and I think it's really been help helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, I do have... And by the way, I do have a Patreon service where I show my portfolio and my uh, focus list every weekend. There's a seven-day free trial. You might want to check that out. And please check out my um, partner, Seeking Alpha Premium. Link in the description below. That's, this is my source for fundamental information. Here's FTAI. And we can see a plethora of articles. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Looks good. I'll see you in the next video.